Black, black, million in million. Reproduction. A cross the board. Did you know that? This is in conjunction with uh, a new religious idea. The House of Bliss. Where we say there should be one commandment and one commandment only. Forget the Ten Commandments. They have been replaced by one commandment. Thou shalt not reproduce. Government, year in, year out, have neglected the people by allowing every Tom, Dick and Harry to reproduce. We are in this mess because no government has had the balls to stand up and say enough, it is enough. 700,000 people immigrate into this country every year, not from Romania, not from Africa, but from the hospital. Children migrate into this country and all of them are a bunch of parasites for 18 years and we all have to pay for them, which is why we must make reproduction illegal. Look around here, ladies and gentlemen, and ask yourself, should these people's parents have ever been allowed to reproduce? You really don't like people, do you? What's that? You really are against people. I'm against people? Well, not all people at all times. Some people I quite like sometimes. What's that? Why don't you go and live on another planet? Go and, go and live on another planet? Yeah. I mean, this is Mars, Mars One project. I'd probably get a bit bored. They're, no, they're, they're looking for volunteers to go and live on Mars. To go and live on Mars. Yeah. That's funny you should say that. That's what my mother-in-law used to say. Go and live on Mars. It's like Mars. My parents had me and I'm glad they had me. You're glad your parents had you? Yes. I'm not. <laughs> Are you glad your parents had you? No. You're not? No. You'd rather not have lived? No, I mean, it doesn't, you know, I, I don't really think about life like that. But I, I, I don't, I'm not pleased my parents had me because I think, because, I, because I've been involved in, in a lot of exploitation and I've been exploited. So, you know, it's affected a lot. Well, my parents' decision to have me didn't just affect me, it affected all those people around me. Do you see what I'm saying? So you'd rather Same thing with you. Yeah? It's all right for you to say that you're okay that your parents had you. That's just from your point of view. But what about all the other people in the world's point of view? What about the people that had to make all your clothes and had to, had to prepare all your food? What's that? So what? I can understand why you didn't like the Extinction Rebellion people because that was trying to save the world and you're trying to destroy it. <laughs> I'm not trying to destroy it. I'm not. Logical conclusion yes. from that yes. is for us all to commit suicide en masse. Yeah, but well, it, if, if, the, if you make reading illegal, yeah. so in fact that's the end of the human race anyhow. Right. Because whatever reason you want to put forward, yeah. whatever that reason that you put forward still yeah. exists today while we're still alive. Yeah. So we might as well kill ourselves. Well, we might in as fact, well, but we, we won't. Yeah, we'd be better, better to kill ourselves yeah, because it probably would. If we could do it in a nicer way than yeah. just die, dying from yeah, starvation yeah, yeah. 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 or old age yeah. dying in the ditch. Yeah. So let's all commit suicide. Well, well yeah, that's yeah, a logical that might, outcome. It might be a logical outcome, but it doesn't really matter because, because we're built, we've got an inbuilt strong urge to live on. Yeah, well, that's why we breed. I know, I know, and that's a terrible mistake because it's so an illusion. It's an illusion that by breeding it's going to stop us 
from living on because we're not living on. Somebody else is living on. Yeah? So that, that's an illusion. But what difference does it make? If you, if you stop breeding and we all keep on reproducing, we're still in the same situation as we are now. If we stop breeding? No, if we continue breeding, yeah. or if we, no, if we continue breeding, we'll be in the same situation as we are now. Yeah. Hopefully, maybe, possibly, a better situation. Maybe. For some. For some. Well, for all, maybe. Maybe, so oh, I doubt it, though. Yeah, but it's, a, it's, a, and it's an option, at least. But if we stop breeding, yeah. we're all going to die in the most horrible ways imaginable. No. Uh -huh. No. Why? Have you ever seen a film called um, The Road? No. So are you supposed to stop having children? Is that, are you saying that people should stop having children? I think it should be illegal, yeah. Well, how are you going to stop them? What? Because they rather enjoy I mean, doing it's obvi it. Obviously, yeah. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying it should be necessarily enforced. Yeah? But if it's illegal, that means there must be a punishment. So no, not necessarily. Not in my, my idea of law, of, of law and how it works, yeah? There are there are some there are some things you know that they that they could make illegal without any punishment. It's just the only punishment is that you get a you get a criminal record. That's what that's what I propose. You just get a criminal record because and maybe some free rehabilitation just to set your mind straight that, so that you don't make the same mistake again. It's a state of humanity. Yes. They like having children. They I know. Like I, mean, I understand. I got children. I understand. I got grandchildren. Exactly. Exactly. That's what worries me. You're That's arguing, what worries me. You're arguing against him about something he doesn't actually believe in. He's just here to make an. an I can understand that. But however, therefore, I mean, you would support Chairman Mao's in the, in the Chinese condition when they had only one child. Yes. Uh, well, I partially support it. It wasn't quite enough. It should have been zero children. But, yeah, but you who, know. having one child or two children maximum just sub, just sub, uh, supplement, uh, supplants the uh, original parents. So therefore, yeah. everything's static. Yeah, but the stats is not good enough. There's 7.7 .7 billion people here, and most all of them are yeah, unnecessary. We already have in, in Britain, anyway, it is a, a social constraint about not having too many children. People tend to start looking down on you if you've got ten children. Well, days. unfortunately, oh. that's not true in the extreme religious no, communities. Course, the Muslims and the yeah, Jews a social pressure. and the Christians. Yeah, a modest number. But <laughs> you see, you see that in, many years ago, the Catholics believed that, but... When people get richer, they don't actually need such a large family. Oh, right, because of course there was a great day, you had a good number because a lot of them would die. And also they had no welfare state, so yeah. you needed the children to support them old age. I agree, that's a very bad one. But now, yeah. you only need um, two children, but most right. really. You yeah, don't need any children, what are you talking about? Well, I, I you have, don't I need have any friends children. who don't have any children. <laughs> and I Wonderful. Have one child, I one friend who's got four. So, you know, well, we, you I, I got two. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, equally, you know, we were sensible people. I was quite glad when uh, they got to about 19 or 20 and moved out. <laughs> Had more money then. His argument, he doesn't really believe it himself, but however, his argument means that if we stop having children, we all die of old age in the most horrible ways imaginable because there'll be no one to look after us at old age, we'll just die in a ditch. Nah, firstly you'll have technology within very short, there's already technology that can look after you, that can look after you, right? No, it's going to operate the technology, because the old people don't have up with technology. Uh, we've got the technology already. The young people we've got the technology already. So, it's no, not no, going to no, happen. It's here. not going to happen, what are you talking about? Have you about? got children? It's not going to happen, and we could all, in theory, we could, you know, if the will was there, we could find ways of doing it that were painless, and we could just do it whenever we wanted. Yeah. Have you got children? No problem. Yeah. Right, so, so that's contradicting. How many? Three. <laughs> How do your children feel about it? Have you suggested that they that possibly a late, 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 late abortion? <laughs> when you discuss with him an argument, you must understand he doesn't really believe it himself. He's here to make an argument for the sake of making an argument. That's why he's got this particular thing up. Fair enough. If he was a communist or a fascist, then he could understand it. But he's I can make an argument too. Yeah, but I mean, the point is, he's doing it because of an exercise in it. It's an exercise, yeah. and an intellectual exercise. That he's doing. I mean, you can defend anything. I could get up here and defend the, my, the opposite of what I believe. Yeah. You have to do that. So, yeah.
Because you've got to believe something first, haven't you? Not to be that hard. So you're a you're a Romanian. I'm here to find out someone who's a here to ask them exactly what it is they want. Well, there's a question over there. I stuck a sticker on his on his uh, uh, thing saying uh, bollocks to Brexit. Yeah. On it. He took it off. Oh, I didn't understand. Well, he's got the wrong tragedy. He had one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you going? Hi, how are you? Are you going? Yeah. Oh dear, you just got here and then you're going. Uh, I've got some interest in talking here. Man say it straight, man don't listen to BBC, man don't listen to ITV. Listen! And there are a lot of terrorists in the Middle East, just a good Syria. Civilians are always targeted in Syria. By all sides, by Iranians, by Hezbollah, by the Syrian government, by the Turks, by the Russians. 